Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing yet another Japan crate. As you can see, this one is definitely a bit different from your standard boxes because this is actually the Japan Crate 7 year anniversary special edition box, which is pretty awesome. Phoenix, you excited? Yeah. All right, he's excited, I'm excited. I'm sure you guys are excited as well. Here's a quick look at the sides of the box. So it's basically black with uh, some white designs and also a little bit of yellow. The normal boxes are red and white, right? Yeah. So yeah, this is special edition. It's Should more be... of an orange, to be honest. Is it? Yeah. It looks kind of yellow to me. I mean... No, I mean like the regular one. The regular one's orange? Yeah. You're telling me this whole time I thought they were red boxes. They were actually orange boxes. Yes. Well, to me, they are. Doesn't matter. The point is, this is different <laughs> than those boxes. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And let me just quickly grab my knife here. And let's uh, open this bad boy up. Okay, so just got one strip of tape at the bottom here. There we go, officially open. Oh, okay, here we go. And there is the inside of the and box, also, guys. What? They even dented the thing first. They, they dented what? They dented this. Oh, it's folded? Yeah. That's no big deal. Okay, so there is the pamphlet that tells you what the Ooh, treats Oculus are, Quest. and oh, they're giving away an Oculus Quest too. If only Ooh. that could have been us. I mean, I don't think they could have fit the Oculus Quest into this box anyways. I think you have to enter the contest. Yeah. But uh, maybe we'll enter. Hey, Japan Crate, if you're watching, we would like that Oculus Quest. <laughs> okay, so I'll put that to the side for now. I never there seen. is the inside. Look at the camera real quick so we can get a thumbnail. Look over here. Right there. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I think we got something. Um, what is this? What is this? Ooh. Ooh. This is interesting. Okay, so. It's a lottery ticket. It's like a scratch ticket. And what it says is uh, thanks for being part of the JC family, Japan Great family. Um, celebrating seven years of sweet memories together, scratch and win. Now, I don't know what kind of prizes we can get, but let me just grab a coin real quick. Maybe an Oculus Quest. So why don't you grab a coin? Yeah, grab a coin and we'll scratch this. And if we win an Oculus Quest, that would be insane. That would be ideal, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Okay, thank you Phoenix, coming in clutch with the... Quarter. The quarter here, Canadian money. And uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Do you want me to scratch or do you want to scratch? I don't want to. You want to scratch? Okay, go for it. Phoenix is scratching. And okay. <laughs> I can't say this is the most exciting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it says, you've won 10% off at Sugoi Mart, which I believe is their online store kind of thing. Um, and there's a code. Now, I'm gonna show you guys because I don't really care, so it's probably too blurry anyways, but if you guys can manage to decipher what that code is, then it's all yours. All right, 10% off at Sugoi Mart. So there you go, thank you to Japan Crate for that. Would have preferred an Oculus Quest, but Two. it's okay, it's okay. Now, let's move on to, you don't have to scratch anymore, it's all good, <laughs> stop. Okay, let's move on to the snacks now, which do look really good. Uh, we got some potato chips, we got some, uh, I forgot what these are called, but something like puff star things. Got a umaibo, gotta have those. Uh, I got this big long gummy thing. I really want that. Uh, got a drink in here and a bunch of other good stuff. So Phoenix, why don't you just grab one? And I we'll can't with stop that. looking at this one. That stick? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like a gummy, to, well, it feels like a gummy to me. Right Let's show people sour real quick. Paper. So there you go. That is what Phoenix chose as our first snack of the day. And let me just find that real quick in the pamphlet. Okay, so it says sour paper cider belt. This strip of candy is super sweet, a little sour, tastes like cider, and is super fun to nibble on. Take a bite. Okay, go for it. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? It's like one of those um, like sour belts. There's like rainbow color ones, yeah. right? But this one's uh, 
just yellow. So I'm gonna give it a try. That's pretty tough. Yeah. It's that also pretty tasty. That was chewy as I thought it was gonna be. Mm. That's good though. Yeah. I like how sour it is actually. Yeah, it's, pr it's pretty sour. Mm hmm. It's got like an apple cider kind of flavor. Mmm. <laughs> you can have the rest. Okay. That's really good. That's really good. So, right off the bat, sour paper cider belt. What would you give it? Mmm. An eight. Solid start. Solid start. All right, eight out of 10. I'm gonna give that a seven for the seventh anniversary. But no, it's actually good. I wanna be fairly strict to start just so we have somewhere higher to go, you know? So even though this is really good, I'm gonna give it a seven. There you go. Now, moving on to my selection here. Um, let's try something that we don't or haven't tried before. Cause obviously we've tried Umaimbo. Yeah. We've had, you know, chips before. So let's go for uh, what looks interesting here. There's the Kit Kat at the back, but we already know what that's all about. Let's go for this one. This looks interesting. Okay, so got the screen bag here. And Can I see? it's got some grapes. Mm. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you got some grapes. It says Sour's Gummy. So mm. another sour gummy candy, which I love. So I don't mind more of those. But uh, this one is the Sour's Muscat. Muscat. How do you say that? I thought it was musket. Musket. A <laughs> musket. So it's a gun? <laughs> yeah. It's a sour gun. <laughs> Sour's, yeah, sour musket. Sour's musket. Don't be fooled by its glittery jeweled exterior. These hard candies will make your mouth pucker with its sour taste. Once it mellows, you'll be left with a sweet green grape taste. So enjoy. All right. How sour is this? I don't know. This is interesting though. Yeah. They look interesting. So they're like kind of like little jewels. Like they're covered in these like um, rock candy or rock sugar. Yeah. Right? And it feels like a gummy candy, but they say it's a hard candy. Is it a hard candy? No. It's gummy, right? It's like chewy. Yeah. Okay. It's also not sour. Wait for it. Wait for it. There, right? <laughs> it's not sour <laughs> at all. It is very good though. Yeah. It's super grapey. Right? Yeah. Very. Yeah. To be honest, it's not as good. I don't think it's as good as the cider uh, belt, so mm. I want to give it a 7.5. Okay. I like it better. I like it better. You know what? The grape taste is actually very accurate. I think it tastes more like an actual grape than most grape candies I've had. Yeah. Right? So for the authenticity, I'm gonna go for a 7.5 as well, <laughs> which is actually an increase for my last score. So there you go. Sour, sour, sour muskets, right? <laughs> sour, <laughs> sour muskets, there you go guys. <laughs> Snack number two, moving right along. Uh, Phoenix, your turn, hmm. what do you want? I want to start some of the stuff that looks like I can't eat, so this. Stuff you can't eat? Yeah. Why? It looks spicy. It looks from the cover that it's spicy. I don't think it's spicy. I think it's just, um, it looks to me just like seaweed mm. flavored chips. Here you are, you got the seaweed there. Are you talking about the red stuff? Yeah. I don't think the red stuff is peppers. Mm. I think it's like something else. I think it's like a- No, I meant this. Oh. <laughs> How did you not see that? You're right. <laughs> No, I thought he was talking about the little like red like lines here, but there are actually some peppers in the corner here. So I'm sure that means it is at least somewhat spicy. But from my experience, potato chip zigzag spicy Korean uh, gim flavor. Yeah, from my experience, you know, even if it says it's spicy, it's really not that spicy. So I think to be me, okay. if it says spicy, it's extremely spicy. Okay, Phoenix can't do spice. Like this kid cannot eat anything spicy. So. Uh, this could get interesting for your mouth. Okay, so <laughs> it's called potato chip zigzag spicy Korean gim flavor. I don't know what gim is, but gim flavor. As one of Japan's premier chip makers, Kaobi is back 
with a new flavor. The ridge cut chips are seasoned with the taste of Korean seaweed, coated with salt I and like sesame seaweed. oil. Uh, the added spicy chili peppers make it a home run in our new favorite flavor of chips. All right, so seaweed, sesame oil, and peppers. That sounds amazing to me. I'm not sure about Phoenix though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. Phoenix, grab a chip. Okay. Half chip. I got a. Yo, look at the size difference in our chips. <laughs> just like us, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the size difference between us. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you go. Eat it. Mmm. Mmm. It's not too sour. I mean, it's not too it's not, spicy. It's not sour at all. Mmm. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Definitely get that seaweed. Yeah. Very strong seaweed flavor. And just the tiniest hint of spice, right? Yeah. Like, it's, it's so mild. I don't know why they put two peppers on the front to try to scare people. Like, this is literally like the tiniest amount of spice they could possibly get. Like if Phoenix is eating it, then it's not spicy, trust me guys. So, um, Phoenix, that's, that's, that's a good one, right? Yeah. That's a good one. What'd you give it? Well, that would be an 8.5. So, you like it that much more than the gummy candies? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go for an 8. I'm gonna go for an 8. I like chips a lot, and I like seaweed a lot, and I like spice. If it had more spice, if I had more heat to it, I would probably go for an 8.5, maybe even a 10, or sorry, no, not a 10, maybe even a 9, but And because, I might die. And you might have died, yeah. <laughs> but because of the lack of spice, I think I'm gonna do 8.5, which is still pretty good. That's still a very good score. One more, one more. We're done. All right. Next up. I'm gonna say, mm, got a taiyaki in there. Ooh, what's this cat thing? Oh, you know what? Cat food? Yeah, cat food. No. <laughs> I think that's we got, the DIY. got the DIY here, which we'll save for later. Okay, we'll do that at the end of the video. Yeah. Okay, gonna put that to the side and let's do, oh, these look good. Blue. These look really good, actually. Okay, they look like, kind of like reverse pockies to me. It's, it's like a pocky, except the chocolate is in the inside. As Popo. opposed to the outside. Kind of like Pocky, but inside out. Is that what they say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even read that. Literally to me, like on the cover, it just looks like it's a Pocky with the chocolate on the inside. So I was like, reverse Pocky. Ta Topo is a hollow pretzel stick that's filled with a sweet chocolate filling. Uh, each pack comes with two uh, lots of sticks. The perfect treat to spoil yourself. <laughs> Only so you, two? So you're calling it Topo. But to me, it's Topo because that's a Dragon Ball Z character. Oh. <laughs> you know Topo? No. He's kind of like that, like the fat egg guy, like egg-looking guy with like small arms and legs. Mm. With a mustache. I think I remember him now. Okay. Anyways, all my Dragon Ball fans out there, you know Topo. So yeah, this one's called Topo, and it's a reverse Pocky. So yeah. <laughs> let's uh, open this up real quick. And I think it's made by the same people that made Pocky, actually. I'm pretty sure this company a lot. Or latte or whatever. Yeah, it sounds. It I'm pretty sure they familiar. make pocky as well. So, I guess they were like, you know what? We made a lot of pocky. Let's just uh, reverse it. Yeah. <laughs> Uno reverse card and put the chocolate on the inside. Okay, so here we go. All right, Can here we, is a topo for you, Phoenix. They could have just uh, given us uh, some uh, pocky, but in a different flavor. They could have done that, but you know what? This is more interesting. Yeah. So as you can see, this is like the bread sticking, bread sticking. <laughs> it's like the bread stick part. Is it a bread stick? Anyways, it's like the stick part without the chocolate, but the chocolate's on the inside. One reason I don't like uh, Pocky that much is because that uh, on the bottom, there's no like chocolate uh, filling mm. or covering, but coating. But uh, this one has the filling throughout the entire thing. Yeah. So you're always getting chocolate, right? It's, it's not. It's five. not. It's not just like the top part. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting assessment. Now, to me, it's good, but I feel like it's not as much chocolate like throughout. 
You know what I mean? Like for a Pocky, even though it's not all covered in chocolate, you get more chocolate for the parts that are covered. True. Right? So, not sure how I'm we're, feeling about this right now. We're just gonna be eating Pocky while we think about our ratings. It's Topo. It's not oh. Pocky, it's Topo. Well, but. we're just gonna be eating reverse Pocky and while we're uh, thinking about our ratings. Hmm. Okay, so to me, it's pretty good, but not great. I would still prefer a regular Pocky. And just like my assessment of the Topo character in Dragon Ball, he's okay. Don't love it. Don't hate it. Seven. There you go. Seven for me, for Topo. What do you think? You can't suck the chocolate out, so eight. If you could suck the chocolate out, then you would yeah. give it higher? Alright, I'll give it an 8.5. Okay, okay. Gonna put Topo to the side now. And Phoenix, you're up. What you think? Huh. What you feeling? I think... Um, that one? That yeah. looks good. That one? Yeah. Alright. This looks like it a looks lollipop. looks like cola candy. Oh, it is a lollipop, Sherbet actually. Perot Coke. Hmm. You want me to read it? It's fun dip. It's fun dip. So... It feels like it's a lollipop and then it's got like some powder in there you can dip it in. Uh, it's called Sherbert Perot Coke. Okay. Fun Enjoy dip. Japan's version of Fun Dip with this cola flavor dipping candy. Just open it up, take out the lollipop, lick it and dip it in the Sherbert powder. It's also, it's as simple as that and tastes delicious. Okay, so I'm not gonna lick it after you've licked it, but <laughs> why don't you just tell me how well, good it is. Uh, I remember last time uh, we had it, but it said that the uh, it said that the uh, powder was uh, cider flavored. Okay. But it tastes the same. But this one's Coke, right? Yeah. But it tastes like the cider. Yeah. So does it not taste like Coke? Uh, it tastes. A, it has a little hint of Coke. Okay. Well, I mean, just as as a candy, how good is it? Well, I guess uh, it would be pretty popular on Halloween. So I'm giving it an 8.4. 8.4. Yeah. But aren't all these, like wouldn't all these be popular on Halloween? Yeah, but this would be pretty popular. Okay, that's an interesting assessment. Interesting criteria. Um, but I'll take it. 8.4, is that's really high. You realize this is like the highest you've given. Or no, you gave the chips, what, 8.5? Yeah. So. These are, this, this this lollipop is almost as good as the chips. Yeah. All right, if you My say so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna taste it, but. My ratings are pretty screwed up. It's it's all over the place, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's fine, it's your rating. Um, My turn, let's go for, let's go for this. It's like a fruit roll-up, or a fruit by the foot, right? Yeah. Uh, before I called it fruit roll-up, you were like, it's fruit by the foot. Mm. They're different things, I'm pretty sure they're both like similar things though. Similar yeah, it just I'm pretty sure the brand calls it. Okay, so it's different brands, but yeah, we got this little package here. Feels like a fruit roll up slash fruit by the foot. Cola flavor roll. Cola flavor roll. Okay. There we go. And yes, it is packaged exactly like a fruit by the foot or fruit roll up. You got the white wrapper on the outside. And then you just unroll it like this. Right? Just unroll it. And you got the candy on one side. So there you go. All right, Phoenix, why don't you grab a strip here? You know what, let me just rip it off for you. There you go. Okay. There you go, okay. And mm. I got my strip here. I'm it's a lot more rest. stickier. Then uh, for roll-up? Yeah. Yeah, it feels very sticky. Okay. So, wow, it is really sticky. Yeah. Really sticky. There you go, that's the candy. I'm gonna just put it in my mouth. <laughs> mm. It mm. stuck to my lip. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I love cola flavored things. So good. Yeah. So good. Um, roll up and unwind in candy goodness with this long rope candy. Bursting with the classic Coke flavor, or cola flavor, this roll is not to be underestimated. All right. Yeah, that's a solid 8.5 for me. Mm -hmm. I think- Stuck to my teeth though, I hate that. Yeah. 
it, it gets stuck to your teeth, so I'm deducting it a, a half a point. Okay. So, 8. Okay, so I said 8.5, right? Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. You like this one. Very lot. good. Very, very good. All right. Your turn, Phoenix. Which one? Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a diamond ring candy. Oh, it's diamond ring candy. You want to open it? Nah. No? Well, not now. I, I would show people. Okay, so that's a... It's like a big ring pop. I already got this before. And, uh, you know, like, we kind of know what it's all about, so... We're not gonna open this up today, but we'll probably save it for Phoenix to have after the video. Okay, so Umaibo. 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 Every, every uh, Umaibo. time uh, we unbox it and there's a Umaibo, I uh, I wish that it's uh, salty and cheese flavored. Does this one look like salty and cheese? Oh my god, it says sugar. <laughs> okay, so we once again are not getting a savory. Uh, Umaibo, which we both really like. Like we, I, I enjoy the, the the sweet ones too. Yeah. They're nice, but the savory ones are so much better. Yeah. The cheesy ones, like the garlic flavor or whatever, like so much better. But anyways, still excited for this. Hopefully it's good. Uh, why don't you open this up? Or you know, try it. I'm gonna read the description here. Umaibo sugar rusk flavor. One of Japan's most iconic corn snacks that's easy and fun to eat is back with a new flavor. This addition brings back all the nostalgic feels with its rusk-like taste with plenty of sweetness. To bring out the flavor, okay. Well, what do you think, Phoenix? It's not savory, but still pretty good. Yep, yeah, it's a uh, 7.9. Okay, getting fancy with the scores, I like that. Yep. Oh. It's only mildly sweet. It's actually got a bit of a savory hint to it, though. Yeah. No? But like the aftertaste is very cheesy. Mm. It's kind of like a slightly sweet Cheeto. Is that fair? Yeah, I was going to give it a 7.5, but bumped it up. Because it's slightly savory? Yeah. I think that's fair. I think, um, I think like, it's definitely better than most of the sweet umaibos we've had, but still not quite as good as like the just fully savory ones. So yeah, eight, eight. It's always good though. I, I just love the crunch, the and I love Cheetos. Like we both love Cheetos, and it's basically a giant Cheeto, right? Yeah. So you can't go, you can't go wrong with that. All right. So I'm gonna pick the big bag here okay all right this this is it looks like ice cream flavored like star puffs that's because it is is that what it is chocolate corn salted vanilla milk salted vanilla milk it doesn't say ice cream but i'm pretty sure there it's it, 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 it's it looks like it's got like ice cream scoops at the bottom here yeah so i'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be um, yeah. open this up phoenix gonna get it in your eye <laughs> my yeah. bad my bad <laughs> Uh, this classic star-shaped corn snack got a revamp for a limited a limited time. Ooh. This time, it's coated with a delicious salted vanilla milk, vanilla milk that makes the perfect pairing for that corn crunch. Eat one, nah. I'll finish the bag. <laughs> Sounds like Phoenix. All right. So yeah, we got these little stars. They actually taste so good. These these star puffs. Mmm. Solid nine. They got some uh, nice weight to them, actually. They're not they're not like super light. Yeah. Right. I think it's the the like vanilla or like the yogurt or whatever they covered it in, or they they soaked it in like some kind of cream, right? So. That's a nine. Yeah. It tastes like vanilla. Yeah. But well, do you taste any salty? A little bit. Mm -hmm. A little salty. Yeah. For sure. A tiny whiff of it. A little, little salty vanilla, salted vanilla taste. Mm. So good. So good. Uh, 8.5. Mm. You said 9, right? Yeah. Yeah, so so far, it's Phoenix's favorite. For me, this is as good as the chips. Um, not, not, not my favorite, I would say. I think I still prefer the chips, but this is quite good. And like I said, I, I prefer savory over sweet, so 
same. Definitely the chips still uh, are the the best so far in this box. But that being said, really good one. Really good one. All right, Phoenix, grab one. Mm. Is it time for Kit Kat? Kit Kat. All right. Mm. Kit Kat time. Okay, Kit Kat wheat biscuit flavor. Wheat biscuit flavor. Sounds like they ran out of ideas. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Here's the back. There's a lady looking kind of unimpressed, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's looking a little bit unimpressed, but that's fine. Um, we feel the same way, but you know what? Before we judge it too harshly, let's actually eat it. Let's actually try it. So, uh, uh, let me open this bag up and give one to Phoenix. All right. And here's one for me. It's kind of it's melted, melted like normal. <laughs> It's probably because it was left out in the sun for a bit. And... Hopefully it won't happen in the winter. The good thing is it doesn't affect the taste. I right? hope it's just, it doesn't. It's just a little deformed, a little blobby, <laughs> but it does not affect the taste. So there we go. Mm. Best one. I would by by no means say it's bad. Like it's 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 not bad at all, right? But it's not good, really. Yeah, like it's, it's not, not it's good. not it's not really special anyway. It just kind of tastes like a a graham cracker covered in white chocolate, which is not you know it's pretty good, but like you know. It's just, yes, I, I come, expected more. I've come to expect a certain level of deliciousness from these Kit Kats, and this one just doesn't really live up to the expectations, you know? Or at least live, it, it doesn't meet the bar that was set by the previous Kit Kats. Especially like that lemon one. Yeah. That honeydew one we got was like the bomb. my favorite. That, that was the bomb, as, as Phoenix just said. That was the bomb. So this one is... Um, yeah, not quite there, you know, it's a, a bit of a disappointment. One. I'm just joking, not one. 6.5? Mm. Six? Six. Six. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the six. You know what? Hey, they can't all be winners. Um, we'll leave these for Taya for Android 18. <laughs> and i uh, got a few more things here, but almost done. That was pretty quick, eh? Let's yeah. try the drink. Let's try the drink. This is... Caffeine. Interesting. Creamy cafe jello affogato style. It has coffee in it. It's got caffeine in it. You want you want a little bit? Okay. You want to try a little bit? Okay, so let me let me show people first. Let me show people the, the can here. The can. The can. The can. Not the toilet. <laughs> You're gonna show them the can. I'm gonna show them the can. Alright, so yeah, it's called the uh, Dido Cafe Jelly. Coffee lovers and even non-coffee lovers. Rejoice as this coffee jelly drink is a seasoned must. With beans from Brazil and uh, Ethiopia, this milky coffee jelly concoction has vanilla syrup added to make a drink that can be enjoyed even as an affogato. I don't know what affogato means, but it sounds cool. So let me just pop open that can there. I'm gonna take the first swig here. Pop open the can. <laughs> Well, that's very interesting. So there's a lot of jelly in there. You just get a mouthful of jelly when you drink it. It's like it's like coffee mixed with jelly. It's intriguing. I haven't had a drink like this before. Right? It's almost like a drink and a and a food at the same time. Because I never drink coffee, it's a little bitter. Mm-hmm. But it bit, is pretty good. I would give like, it. It's, a it's like coffee with like some cream in it. I would give it a seven point five. I can't even drink it because the jelly is like blocking. Mm. How am I supposed to drink this? It's like it's like blocking the the hole. <laughs> okay, anyways, 
it's quite good. The, the jelly does add an interesting dimension to it. You know, if it's just like a straight up coffee drink, I, I would give it a seven, but I like the jelly. Even though it does get in the way of your drinking, your drinkability. Oh, I think we were supposed to shake it. <laughs> this, is, this is a little like picture here showing like a hand shaking the can. So I think we're supposed to shake it. We can't just shake it now. We could, it. but it would just make a mess. That'd be a big mess, so we're not gonna shake it right now. We'd have to drink a little bit at a time. It's, it's, it works, it works. I'm just gonna be sucking my I like that, top. I like that. 7.5, 7.5. You know what, good timing, because I'm about to go to the gym now. So this coffee will uh, get me ready. So it's like a pre-workout. All right. <sighs> what, what, what shall we have now, Phoenix? Isn't it your turn? Is it? Hmm. Tayaki time. Yeah, tacky time. Taiyaki. Oh. I it see. says, I love puku tai. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But there you go, tayaki, right? It's just that fish snack, fish, fish, uh, uh, it, not a cracker. What, what do you call it? Like a. I don't a know. Thing. Puka puka tai. Puka puka tai. I hope it's not crumbled. So it's fish shaped tayaki is actually a small cake with a sweet filling, making it a fantastic treat. This fantastic, you got that? Mm, fantastic fin. treat. Pun intended. This snack has two fish shaped wafers held together by a bubbly chocolate that will get you swimming with joy. These fish puns write themselves. Okay. I don't think you're supposed to separate it. Nope. <laughs> okay, so there's the there's the fish, there's the tayaki. And Phoenix just like open it up so yes you can see the inside Ooh. basically just some chocolate filling it's, it's like arrow chocolate right yeah yeah it's like arrow chocolate kind of style and um yeah take the first bite but make sure you catch it with this so don't make a mess what happened to arrow uh they're still around you just don't have them anymore mm. all right mm. Yeah, just straight up chocolate. Um, that's good. Eight out of ten. Mm, eight out of ten. Okay. Eight, it is. Now, my favorite tayakis in the past were. I mean, the one favorite was definitely that melon one. I'm, I'm just a sucker for anything like honeydew, um, you know, like melon flavored things, you know? So like that one was just a top, piece of that, chocolate that was God tier. No chocolate in your eye? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope you're okay. But um, as I was saying, yeah, like we had the tayaki in the past, the melon one, that was just like out of this world, man. But this one is not on that level. But it's quite tasty. So yeah, eight out of ten right there. And just a few little small things, Phoenix. Why don't we just grab them? Let's just grab them. Let's just go, go for. Um, I think I saw that. Want that one? Yeah. Okay, so this is like a little little cane thing with like little candy balls they in there. To stab people. Not to stab people. Oh. Do not stab people with this. How do you open it? You'll figure it out. There you go. Okay, so show people on camera. Uh, this just says chocolate stick. Chocolate stick. Because it Strut is. Cut the streets or nibble down on some chocolate pieces whenever your desire, your heart desires with this cane full of hard shelled chocolates. Ah, so they're just like mini Smarties or mini M&Ms. Right, these little balls that are stuck here. They're stuck in there actually. They don't, they're not coming up. You made a mess. Okay, there you go, guys. Two little chocolate balls. Okay. Not bad. Now, there's not really enough here for me to like, give it a rating. Like, you know, it's, it's fine. It's like a seven, right? Yeah. Nothing special. Nothing fancy. But, hey, extra points for packaging. Yep. Extra points for packaging. Okay. So, we got this little marshmallow thing. 
Looks to me like a pudding flavored marshmallow. That's because it is a pudding flavored marshmallow. Well then, I was right. Okay, marshmallow. Bite into it. Ah, oh, it's got a filling. It's like custard in there. Mm. I think it's custard filled marshmallow. Mmm, that's right. Looks like rice. That's awesome. That is tasty. Okay, um... Looks like rice. It does look like rice. So this says Soba Meshi on the front. Soba Meshi. And the description is as follows. Mm. Oh, I don't know where it is, I can't find it. Oh, Soba Popped Rice. Enjoy the yummy taste of savory soba with this go-to snack. These crispy noodles and rice puffs are coated in a sauce that we can't get enough of. Mm. Ooh. Oh, oh, don't make a mess. Here you go. So it's like puffed rice and noodles. Noodles? Oh. Yeah, it's like instant noodles. Oh. Hard noodles. Yeah. You know what this tastes like? What? It tastes like when you take a bag of instant noodles. Yeah. And then you take the, the powder, the mm -hmm. flavor packet, and you dump it in there, right? And then you crush it and you shake it. Have you tried that before? No. You've never done that? No. Nope. You've never done that? No. Nope. Really? Okay, well you need to try it, because I used to do that all the time as a kid. Basically, instead of like, you know, putting it in hot water and like letting the noodles get soft, you just eat it dry. You just crush the noodles, you put the powder in there, you shake it, and it's like a little snack, right? So that's what this tastes like. It's got like that um, instant noodle flavor package. It are noodles. Yeah. It really brings me back. It brings me back to like middle school, sometimes even high school. Um, I don't have this memory. You're not even in middle school or high school yet. <laughs> but no, I like I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, now this Very one. tasty. Very tasty. No, this one. No, that gets a 8.5 for me. Okay. Now finally we have this little dog candy. It's got a dog on there. And it looks like mints or something. Like like flower or posh no posh shaped mints. What's the dog doing? <laughs> What's the dog doing? All right, here we go. Grab one. They got the paw flavor, uh, the paw print in there. It's, it's a paw print. Oh, that's super paw rum flavorful. <laughs> it's, it's just like it's a burst of flavor. Peach ramoon. Oh, uh, peach ramoon. Okay. I like it. Me too. Me too. Mmm. Okay. So that's it, guys. Time for the DIY. That is the box. As you can see, completely empty now. I'll show you the inside here with the design and everything. Ooh, very nice. Um, yeah, congratulations to Japan Crate once again for 10 years in bit. No, sorry, seven. Seven years in business. Still very impressive. And yeah, let's do the DIY now. So this was the DIY that we saw earlier that we put to the side. Now let's give it a shot here. Here's the back. What even is it? I don't know. I have no idea actually. Mm -hmm. So. I really like these DIYs. It's, all, it's called Sumiko Jelly. Sumiko Jelly. Put the two 3D molds together, fill with water and empty into a cup. Use the water in the cup combined with the powder and stir for 30 seconds. Fill the mold with the mixture using a spoon and place in the refrigerator for 30 minutes until solid 30 minutes wow. remove mold and enjoy okay so it looks like we're just uh combining like the packets the powder with water putting in the mold and then once you refrigerate it it'll make like a little cat or some kind of <laughs> i don't know what it's supposed creature. to be some kind of mythical creature yes oh yeah this is something to put one stone Oh, it's like a little stand. Okay, so we got a little stand, like a little stage for the jelly creature. So how do you Once do it's it? ready. Um, did they give you a cup? Mm. Okay, so there is the mold, guys. Let me just show people real quick. So it comes in two pieces. 
right? And you put the mold together, and it forms the shape of this little creature here. And what you're supposed to do is pour the powder and water mix into this mold here, put it in the fridge, and then uh, I guess once it solidifies, you got the, you know, you got this cat thing. I think it's a cat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a cat. So there you go. Um. So first you have to uh, mm. fill it with water and then put it into a cup. Ah, uh, okay. So it tells you. So basically, the 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 mold itself is like the measuring cup, yeah. right? So you do that and then put it in an actual cup. So find a cup, put it in there, and then we'll put the powder in there after, and you mix it. So grab a chopstick. Got it. Okay, so there's the water. Now put the powder in there. Very nicely done. I wonder what flavor it is. We'll find out. Okay, and now we just mix. Make sure that mold is like completely sealed. So you don't want anything getting out. Well, I can't uh, seal it more. Well, then you're good. Okay. I hope I am. So this is not mixing very well. I'm trying my best though. Mmm. Smells kind of like soda. Mmm. Yo, this is actual work. Like I'm actually putting in work right now. Like this is not easy. All right, you give it a shot. While you do that, I'm gonna have some chips. Hey. <laughs> Come to the camera. Make sure you get all those little clumps in there. I think it's good now. You think it's mixed well enough? Yeah. Okay. Now for the royal. So what would you call this, Phoenix? Goop. Goop? Yeah. It's goop. Yeah. That should be <laughs> a right. catchphrase. Yeah, that's our, that's your catchphrase. It's goop. Alright, so that is the mold. Here is the goop. I'm gonna pour the goop into the mold. If it overfills, we could just eat it. We can eat the remains, yes. We if can eat the goop. We can eat the extra goop. Wait, if there's what if there's not enough? Extra. Uh, it might not be enough, you're right. Hold on. Or it might just be enough. I think it might be just enough. Oh my god. I'm dying. I think it's enough, Phoenix. Mm. I think it's just enough. There might be like, like a hole at the bottom in his butt. That's gonna be his butthole, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the, yeah, there, there might be a little bit of a like piece missing just because we don't have enough, but I think it's fine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just drip the rest into there. That looks good to me. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. Okay, so the mold is filled. Phoenix is gonna put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. And then we'll be back to show you guys the final product. Okay, so it's been about 30-ish minutes yeah. since we put it in the fridge. And here is the final product. All right, so there's the cat. And if we open the mold here, I actually grab the little base. So we have a, have a base here for the cat. So hold that like this. I'm gonna try to plop him in there. Or actually, I can just pull him out, I guess. Oh, he's quite solid, actually. Okay, okay. here we go. Here we go. Oh no. I think I broke off his ear. No. <laughs> okay, so there you go, guys. <laughs> that is the DIY for this month. It's a jelly cat. 
What do you think, Phoenix? It's solid goop. It's solid goop now. It's solid goop now. Let me just get a close up here. All right, there you go. That is our solid goopy cat. And Phoenix, do you want to eat it? Sure. Are you ready? Okay, do it. Head first. Head first. Head first. So I can't feel me. Enjoy, enjoy. Mm. <laughs> you just bit the head right off. <laughs> what does it taste like? Goop. Tastes like goop. What, yeah. what, what, what flavor goop though? Goop flavored. Orange flavored. It feels kind of wrong. <laughs> yeah, it feels wrong. Yeah, it's not my favorite. It's not. It's not my favorite. Um, uh, yeah, what does that even taste like? Orange, I guess, right? Mostly orange. Maybe a little bit of apple or pear or something like that. I'm not sure, honestly. But uh, what I will say is, you know, most of these DIY things are not that good. The trend kind of continues with this one. Um, but hey, at least they're fun. Yo, Phoenix, that's gross. <laughs> Stop. Stop pushing the jelly out of your mouth. <laughs> Just eat it. Just chew it and eat it. <laughs> That's gross. Okay, well anyways guys, that is gonna be today's video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Overall, I would rate this box a solid like 7.5 maybe. Just cause like, there was nothing that really stood out to me too much, right? Like, there were a few good ones, like the chips were good, the little star things were good, but nothing that really blew me away. Um, you know, nothing where I felt inclined to give it more than like a 8.5. I don't think I gave a 9 today. Did you give a 9? No. I don't think I gave a 9 today. So yeah, 7.5 overall um, for the 7th anniversary box. I was expecting a bit more, but solid, solid. Can't complain. So. Phoenix, what would you say? I don't know about you, but I liked a lot, so I'm giving it an 8.5. But you do realize that you only gave one thing more than 8.5. Yeah. And a lot of stuff you gave 7s and 7.5s. Yeah. So the average doesn't work out to an 8.5. Eight. <laughs> it's not an 8. Okay, 8 it is. 7.5 for me, 8 for Phoenix. And uh, yeah, that's going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. While you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, that's it. Phoenix, any last words? Am I going to die? Why would you die? You said any last words. <laughs> You said that last time. That was your joke last time. <laughs> well, I forgot that that was my joke last time. You're, you're just going to say that every single time? Yeah. Okay. So those are his last words. And uh, Yeah, it's my last word. My yeah, word there you go, guys. Word. We'll be back next month um, with the next box. Hopefully, it's a little bit more... A little bit more exciting. But hey, once again, solid box this month. But uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger. This is Phoenix with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.